Well, tomorrow's Halloween and many families may be weighing their options on how to celebrate with the pandemic. Trick or treating has been deemed a high risk activity, but there are some precautions you can take if you decide to go that route anyway. Eric Pointer joining us now. Yeah, and he spoke to IMPD about Halloween and Eric, what tips do they recommend? Well, police say if you are going to go out, you want to avoid close contact with anyone who's not in your group or with your household. But they also say they want to remind people to do, to have the COVID pro, the precautions outside of COVID. So you want to do things like wear bright colored clothing and have reflect, reflective gear and check your candy before eating it. Also, be aware of your surroundings. It will be dark, so bring a flashlight and use the sidewalk instead of walking in the street when you can. Also, it's important to maintain six feet of social distancing. Now, while the mayor says they are Aren't promoting trick or treating. IMPD is putting out extra patrols in neighborhoods from about six to eight tonight or Halloween. They'll be in their cars, uniform cars, so you will be able to see them. Uh, marked cars, so wave at them. They're going to be making sure that everyone's safe and and hopefully everyone just maintains that social distancing and everything. And so for those who don't want to risk it with trick or treating, there are many other options. Police recommend such as virtual parties, visiting pumpkin patches and orchards. You can also decorate your yard in your house or do neighborhood costume parades and candy scavenger hunts. Now, a doctor from Riley Hospital for, for Children recommends incorporating a mask into your child's costume, a cloth mask, and he says you don't want to put a Halloween mask on top of that because it may make it harder for the child to breathe. And I, I was curious about what people were going to do this year, so I posted a poll on Twitter and so far, you know, about 100 people have responded. 50% say they are going to trick or treat, but safely 30% say that they're not going to risk it. And about the rest, the remaining 20% say that they don't trick or treat to begin with. Back to you guys. Air